Uh, listen, I thought I can help you out for a bit. But, um, you and I, basically, I just think you need to find another place to live. What? What did I do? I don't get it. Well, that's the thing. You don't get it. Look at this place. You think I work for 15 hours to come home to this? I don't know if you realize this or not, but some of us actually have to work. Not all of us have a father's uh, fund, trust fund to fall back on. I told you that you can stay here for a few weeks. But I think throwing you out might actually put things into perspective for you, Kevin. Dude, come on. You know I'm not good at this. I need to find a place and a job. Remember, 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 remember. Yeah, but I've got my own stuff to worry about, though. Nice. Remember, all the time, remember. I don't have time to babysit. Nice. 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 And what's the worst thing that's going to happen to you, Kevin? Nice. You. you go work at your father's business. Easy. Easy. You'll probably start working as, as his assistant or vice president. Now, at the very end, I want you to be very selfish. I don't share anything you think you're feeling with anyone in the room. Just look at him and talk. And what will you probably be making, what, a hundred grand a year? Just to start? You know, those are some problems you got there. I don't want to work for my dad. He's evil. <laughs> you poor thing. You poor thing. Forgive me if I don't cry. <sighs> Look, you and I, we're still going to be friends, okay? But I just don't want to end up hating you, Kevin. I think I'll give you until maybe Sunday to figure things out. It's the best I can do for you. There you go.